Hello everybody and welcome back to This Week in Halo, where I cover absolutely everything you have missed Halo related throughout the week. And there is some really awesome stuff I need to share with you guys today. From the original Xbox Halo 2 servers coming back to this week's Halo TV show episode, a major upcoming update to Halo Infinite, the latest HCS Championship tournament this weekend, and the return of a fan favorite map from Halo 3. So starting with the big news today, and if you can't tell by the title, I am very excited. It is finally happening. The original Halo 2 Xbox servers are coming back online March 15th. And you're probably wondering, hang on a minute, isn't today March 15th? And yeah, you're right. The original Xbox Live, the original Halo 2, has been reverse engineered, and if you have an original Xbox, you are going to be able to play Halo 2 Classic. Now, a lot of people are asking on how to set this up, so I've put some resources down in the description below. They helped me set it up. You more or less need the original Xbox, Halo 2 Classic, and a USB, and it gives you full online functionality, more than just Halo 2, for the original Xbox games. Once it's all live and set up, I'll do a full video about it. We're going to cover the multiplayer, the campaign, all of the lost Halo 2 menus. It's a really big deal and I cannot thank the Insignia team enough for all the hard work over the last two years they've put in. Now moving on to Halo Infinite and Footed Ghost said CU30 is on the way for Halo Infinite. I've got a couple things to say about that. First of all, CU30, if it is called that, terrible name. But the silver lining to that is we only just had CU29. So if it means 343 can actually put out updates faster now, they can update and get content out faster to the community. That's actually a really good thing. We know there's going to be upcoming sandbox changes for content update 30. 343 devs have already shared they're making changes to the sandbox. You guys left over 1300 comments on how you would fix Halo Infinite in a previous video. So I hope our feedback gets listened to. What I'm hoping to see is a buff to the commando as it is the weakest precision weapon at the moment, a slight nerf to the gravity hammer and something people really haven't touched on but the brand new BTB maps, I want them in big team social and I want them in big team heavies. Big team social is literally just fiesta so I don't know why 343 can't just load up the map, set the game mode to random and roll it out to the community. Now speaking of new maps, this Tuesday so just after the weekend we are finally getting a squad battle refresh. We have been waiting for a squad battle playlist update for a very long long time, but again, it seems like 343 is really rolling out the map updates quick. We had Big Team Battle, we had Husky Raid, and now we're having Squad Battle. Squad Battle is one of the most popular playlists in the game because it's traditional 8v8 BTB. A lot of people love that, myself included. It is my favorite playlist. What is actually going to be in the map refresh? Technical Halo actually shared the maps that are going to be in the playlist. It is Timberland Evolved, Gaia, which is a remake of Tempest, Harvest, which is the Halo 4 map, Refuge, which is made by Infinite Forges, in Halo 2 it's called Headlong, Rendezvous, which is the Halo 3 ODST holdout map I covered last week, Perdition is a remake of the Halo 4 BTB map, and Behemoth is the 4v4 map turned 8v8. It's going to be very interesting to see how that map plays. I am so excited for this update. The squad battle update might be completely different to the CU30 update as we have no timing on that at the moment, but when we know, I'll make a video about it and I'll cover it. This brings us to this week's Halo TV show episode. Here is your weekly spoiler. So if you haven't seen the episode, skip this section. Actually a really good episode. It moved the story forward. It had significant character development for many characters and it felt very Halo. That is the best way I can describe it. As always, Hidden Xperia Luke did a fantastic review of the episode. So check that out if you haven't already. I really love the Spartan 3s. I'm very happy that Master Chief is back in his armor, but more than that, the episode teased the flood. I've been seeing all these conspiracies and theories online, and people are genuinely scared that they might make the Gravemind a person, and not the character from Halo 2 and Halo 3, that Miranda is going to get taken over by the Flood. You would not believe the theories I have read online, but time will tell. One thing I thought that was beautifully well done was the light bridge, and when the whole four on a city illuminated, that looked beautiful. The CGI was perfectly well done, and I really loved that a lot. The other thing I really liked was when the star map that Quan Ha said was a clock all started glowing red, indicating the flood spread throughout the galaxy. That was really well done too. The only downside to this episode was it seems like they're still pushing the McKee Master Chief romance angle. They both touch the artifact, it throws them both to the ring, they're trying to make it all intimate, it just feels very forced. On the whole, the episode is very good. They're actually going to have a Halo ring in the next episode. Oh 
oh my god, a Halo ring in the Halo TV show. It is the season finale, time will tell. Finally today, I said a fan favorite Halo 3 map has come back, and that map is Sand Trap. It has been recreated for Halo Infinite, all the way down to the elephants, and it is beautiful. We just spoke about Squad Battle, and I think this map would be a candidate for that playlist. It has everything right down to the smallest minute detail. As you can see, I'm showcasing it on screen now. It is one of the better remakes on Halo Infinite. They even imported the map geometry through Blender, so it is as close as you can possibly get in Halo Infinite to the original Halo 3 version. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. A very quick side note, everybody was asking about the MCC cheating situation. We have heard nothing yet. I am working on a Combat Evolved Lasso video, and as I was doing that network co-op, I got hit offline again. But if there's any update on the anti-cheat situation, if and when, I'll let you guys know. So that covers absolutely everything this week in Halo. We're potentially getting two fantastic Halo Infinite updates. The Squad Battle refresh comes out on Tuesday. We don't know when CU30 is going to come out. The TV show episode was actually pretty good. And the original Halo 2 Xbox servers, which if you can't tell, I'm very excited for. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. There is a Halo tournament this weekend on Twitch. So if you want some exclusive content, myself and other partnered streamers are going to be giving away some exclusive drops. Come watch the stream. It's going to be a good time. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys later.